guys, so let's talk about installing WordPress to your Bluehost account. Um, before you think about this information that you're seeing on the screen to retain, uh, we're going to actually, I'm going to show you how you install um, WordPress. So when you sign up for your account and you go to your control panel, or they call it a C panel, you'll come to the, a page that looks like this. And it's kind of scary. There's lots and lots of stuff. Um, they have links to all of the gadgets and gizmos that you can use to help build your website. Um, but there's one that you want to pay attention to for this course and for installing your WordPress site. And that is if you go down to uh, either the simple scripts installations or the site builders, just go to the site builders and you click WordPress. And that's you're going to go to a page um, that shows you uh, the site builders. If you click simple scripts, you'll go to a page that looks like this. Um, and you can actually see it's the same page if you go to both links. On my page, you'll see what I have installed. So this is my account, and you'll see that my videoschoolonline.com is installed as WordPress. But if you go down, um, this is going to give you a list of all the scripts that you can use and so you just want to go down to WordPress and it's under blogs um, because WordPress initially was you know more of a blogging platform but that's what the category is under categorize it under so go ahead and click WordPress and then you're going to have to have all of your information uh, for starting your website so go ahead and go to install down here. It says install WordPress. Okay, so then it will ask you where you would like WordPress to be installed. Um, if you just signed up for Bluehost and you have one domain, then your domain will be in this drop down menu. Or if you have another domain name, uh, you'll have to install that and add that to your Bluehost account. And you just basically choose whatever domain name you want um, to have WordPress installed. You type the name of your website or blog. Um, there's plugins and themes that you can add, but I would just go ahead and uncheck all of these because you could activate these later if you want. You want to say yes to the legal information, you have read the terms, and then just click complete. And it's as easy as that. You'll get to a page that has some information that you want to take down. It will basically tell you your URL, it will give you your login URL, your username, and your password. So your URL, that's the site that you, the domain that you purchased, and that's the site that you're going to tell people to go to after you've built your site. The login URL is basically the porthole, the portal to getting into your website so you can edit it. So it will look like your URL, so for me it's videoschoolonline.com slash wp dash admin backslash. And so you'll see it when you once you sign up for an account. But that's the web address you go to to sign into your account so that you can basically edit and customize your website. It will also give you your username and password, which you're going to have to use um, when logging in, when you go to that login URL. And so write all this information down. They'll also email you your username and password uh, once you have created your uh, WordPress account through Bluehost. Um, and you could change the password um, later if you want, but they give you a really secure one with lots of numbers and letters and figures and all that stuff. So that is how you install WordPress. So it was as easy as that. Let me just go through it one more time so that you easily understand. All right, so um, when you go to your Bluehost C panel, you're going to want to um, go down to... Um, WordPress under simple scripts or site builders. So once you go to that, you will go to get to this page that has all the scripts and available to install. You're just going to go to WordPress. So this will take you to a page, another page where it will ask you to 
um, install WordPress. Um, and so then you just click install, you type in your information, choose the website URL that you want, and it will give you all the information where you can log into your site and start editing it. So it's as easy as that. If you have any questions, please let me know. If not, I'll see you in the next lesson where we'll be checking out our WordPress site, the dashboard, and kind of figuring that out. I'll see you then. Bye.